Yes! Woohoo! Now throughout the years on my channel, I've given a lot of different bass fishing tips, but I think today's episode is one that is going to help a lot of you guys and probably not in a way you were expecting. I have fished in a lot of different places around the globe and with a lot of different types and skill levels of angler, and I've noticed one thing, one secret I could say, to catch more bass no matter what season you are in and no matter where you live. And my biggest tip, my number one secret for catching more bass is to slow down. What do I mean by that? Let's talk about it. How's it going everybody and welcome back to TRF. My goal here on this channel is to help you guys become better bass anglers and catch more bass no matter where you live in the country. And so if you guys are not subscribed, hit the subscribe button. We are trying to build an awesome community of learners here on this channel. And of course, I'm learning right along with you guys on my bass fishing journey. Now, if this video piques your interest in some way, whether it makes you want to catch your first bass ever or more bass than you ever have before, I've made tons of bass fishing instructionals and I will make tons going forward for the next however many years I do this for. And so if you guys are curious about a certain topic or a lure, make sure you guys search on YouTube, Tyler's Real Fishing, and then insert whatever topic you wanna know about. And I'm sure I have a video already out there on that topic. So like I said in the intro, my topic of today's video is the number one secret I have to catch more bass no matter where you are. And the answer to that is to slow the heck down. It seems like no matter where I go in the country, I see people, especially younger anglers and less experienced anglers, I see them making this crucial mistake by not fishing slow enough. And what I mean by that specifically in today's episode is talking about your soft plastic lures, your jigs, anything that sits on the bottom of your pond or lake, I hardly ever see people fishing them slow enough. Now, what do I mean by fast versus slow when it comes to lures that are on the bottom? Well, the first thing you have to understand is that the fish, when they're, when they're following and wanting to eat those sorts of things, hardly ever are you going to catch them up in the water column. Now y'all are gonna to have to take my word for it, but I have not caught many bass on a soft plastic when it is up in the water column, besides maybe a wacky rig Cinco and a weightless fluke. I catch plenty of fish like that up in the water column. But when I'm talking about your, your standard Texas rigs, creature baits, jigs, those are most often going to be fished on the bottom. And when those fish want it on the bottom, you better put it there. Too many dang times I see people fishing for fish that want it on the bottom, and they will not fish slow enough. I know it's exciting to fish, you know, reaction baits and, and casting and reeling back in, but you have to force yourself to slow down. I know this tip may be a complete no-brainer to some of you guys watching, but I guarantee you, a lot of you guys out there, I'm not trying to call you out or anything, actually, yes, I am. You are not allowing your lures to A, get to the bottom at all sometimes, and B, you are not fishing them slow enough. When my dad and I first started fishing together, the one thing that I kept having to tell him was, Dad, let your lure sink to the bottom. It's not that hard. And I was catching more fish than him and definitely bigger fish than he was. And the only reason was because I was letting it sink to the bottom and was actually working it slow enough for those fish to find it and eat it. Now, as always, disclaimer, I'm not saying you can't catch fish up in the water column. I'm not saying you can't catch fish swimming a jig or swimming a soft plastic because you can. But for the most part, especially in this spring season that I'm filming this video in today, the fish want it presented on or very close to the bottom and the they want it worked very slow so they can track it down, find it, and eat it. You're gonna see tons and tons of big fish catches in today's video, and the only reason why I was able to catch these fish was because I made slow, methodical passes through these areas, and this of course applies to whether you're fishing on the bank, you're fishing in your kayak, or you're in a bass boat like I am today. The only reason why I caught the fish that I will catch in this video is because I fished slow and methodically. As a matter of fact, Here's an example of how slow I was dragging and hopping my soft plastic. Good. Mm -hmm. Don't give it the old thumb. <clears throat> Sorry, I fell asleep with how slow I was retrieving that lure. But that's the key. You have to retrieve it slow because in today's situation especially, the fish are going to be up making their beds, spawning, you know, protecting their, their fry that have just hatched. Kind of the entire spawn timeline when those fish move up shallow. And casting or retrieving your soft plastics and hopping it real, hop real. 
you're just not gonna catch as many fish. The guy that I fished with in today's video, who you'll see in some of this footage, he was uh, actually the winner of the Bass for Becker's Muscular Dystrophy uh, Foundation that I helped raise money for, and he actually won the giveaway trip from last year's month, which by the way, I will be doing another giveaway trip here soon on the channel, so make sure you guys are uh, watching out for that come this fall. But I caught more fish than him, not because I had the front of the boat, as you'll see, it was because I fished slower than he does, and every time that he would slow down, he would start catching more fish. So I'm not trying to call Garrett out, but there was times when he would be retrieving it too fast, and I'd have to tell him, hey, slow down. The fish want it presented slower. So before every single one of these fish catches, I'm going to leave in a little bit more space for when I work the lure than I usually do in videos. I usually kind of cut right before maybe four or five seconds before the fish catches. I'm going to show you guys probably the entire cast, maybe even a cast before all these fish catches to show you exactly how slow I'm working this thing. And that can hopefully kind of retrain your mind to next time you go out in the water to work it even slower. Now, of course, if you don't know a fish are in your area, if you pull up to a brand new pond or a new lake and you don't know if there's any fish there, fishing slow is not the best option. But of course, during the spawn, you really don't have a choice. So if you're trying to find fish in a brand new body of water, of course, fish reaction baits, fish things that are a little bit faster to kind of find areas that have fish. And then once you find those areas, slow down. But for me, I'm fishing a familiar lake today. I know exactly where these fish are. And so by slowing the heck down, I'm able to get a lot more bites and catch a lot more fish. So without further ado, I'll top on the water and catch some dang fish in today's video, y'all. It's stinking fun. We'll see you out there. There's one. Oh, ah, right there. <laughs> right there. Huh? Uh huh. Hey, if you make a flip, my, my bait's messed up. Right to like the left side of this rock. And then pull it this way a little bit. We're like, I don't want to use the trolling motor because we're already really close to the fish. He didn't feel big. Mm, oh, you got him. Hey, 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 hey let's go. <laughs> yeah, sure. Get on the face. <laughs> Heck yeah. That was probably the one that I missed. You're going to get stuck plenty of times. Oh, here's a fish. See him? Oh, gosh. Yeah, we got him. That's a nice one. Ooh, I got him. Nope. Yes. Ha ha. Look at how pretty this guy is. Ooh. Hey, chill. Chill. Thank you, sir. Ha ha. Beautiful. Look at the spots on that guy. Very pretty. Cool. Grass is really a, an, an eye catcher. And people see. Got him? Oh, yeah. Nice. See, I even flipped there. Uh, you can put that one back in the, in the, in the, in the lake. Oh yeah. My old lady. Of course. She already got on to me. About what? She told me last night. She said, "You better take pictures." <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna take pictures. Of you. <laughs> no, I was gonna selfie you too. She's gonna want to see your face. You in duck blind? Yes! Yeah. <laughs> boat flip. Woohoo! That's what you call a boat flip right there, folks. Over the dock. <laughs> that was crazy. <sighs> oh man, that hook got him good too. There you go. Boom, baby. Perfectly fine. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. So do you guys do customs or, or like? Okay, got it. Cool. Yep, yep. Dude, that's a fat fish. Holy cow, it's fat. Holy cow. Wow! <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Look at that fish right there. Oh, and I would not have gotten that fish if I was not slowly dragging. Oh, you gotta, your, your rod is getting stuck on something back there. You got a fish maybe? No. <laughs> not have caught that fish if I hadn't gone slow. Look, dude, look at the dimensions of that thing. Holy smokes. And you can tell that was on a bed. 
Her tail is all, all kinds of beat up. Oh, well. Gosh. No, I got it. Yes, sir. Let's go. That's a chunky monkey right there. All right, well, <laughs> they're here too. <laughs> I was just saying that I'm not, you know, wasn't quite sure about this stretch. That's usually when you get a bite, you know. That's a chunky fish and he ate the space monkey. Ate a space monkey in his face. Oh, that's fun. That's, that's, that's not a bad time, you know. Gosh. Uh huh. I'm really curious where that fish would go. I think it would go like three, two, maybe. Maybe a little more. I'm not sure. Yeah, three point three seven. So take off a tiny bit. Three, three fifteen probably. That's a chunky fish right there. Heck yeah. Low and slow wins the race. Again though, when you're out here, y'all, you can't really necessarily see all the stuff the fish are spawning on so whether it's stumps or any sort of cover that's down there that they spawn next to you just have to fish really really slow and again you can't really show up to an area you've never been to and just start fishing slow because you don't actually know if there's fish there but as soon as you start making a pattern on your home lake uh, maybe it's areas that you were catching on a jerk bait or a spinner bait or chatter bait in the pre-spawn you know the fish are probably close to that area and if that water temp gets up into the lower 60s you know that those fish are about to do their thing so you can afford to spend some time fishing real slow like we are that was probably the cable yeah that was the cable felt like my line was moving sideways but it was the cable most likely well, that's a fish. Yep. Hello, buddy. Hello. What up? All right, well, that's that's the first. We I caught the three pounder right there on the other side of this when we first pulled in. And now I just caught this fish. So I think this area has a few more active fish. Thanks, buddy. Go do some growing up for me. All right, y'all, to end out this video, I found a fish on a bed that is so stubborn, I'm sitting right here, and it will not eat. This is a classic spring situation. That, that is why, as I've reiterated again and again in this video, the whole purpose of it is you have to fish slow in the spring. Once you know that fish are in that area, you will never be able to pass by a bank enough to catch every single fish that is on that bank because there's just too many of them and they're at all different stages of the spawn, pre-spawn, post-spawn, spawn, and uh, you really gotta slow down. With this fish here, hopefully I can prove it to you guys here. This is just a stubborn fish. Got him, there we go. Ha <laughs> ha, heck yes. Watched him suck it in. Hey, buddy. hey, hey, you're a nice one, that's cold. Well, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of TRF. Uh, it took me quite a few minutes to get that fish to bite. And again, you're not going to catch every single fish down the bank because there's so many of them. But this is definitely the best time to be fishing the bank is the springtime and the spawn because there's just tons of fish like this waiting to be caught. So if you guys are not subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button. I love teaching you guys how to become better bass anglers. And I feel like today's episode was fairly basic, but it's going to help a ton of you guys out there just slow down. My name is Tyler. I'll see you guys next time on TRF. <laughs>